Okay, I want to talk about weed seed longevity in some common weeds in Zimbabwe. This is a continuation of uh, characteristics of uh, weeds. There was a study which was done to find out how long weed seeds stay being alive within the soil under two conditions. The crop uh, field <coughs> and the fallow field. On the one hand, we had Biden's pilosa, which could last for four years under crop field. After four years, it was gone. In fallow periods, it just needed three years. Rodborea cocaine kinensis, five years in crop the field, four years in fallow. And uh, garden soga, six years. What we want to say is that uh, these weed species seem to have, uh, some of them, a short lifespan within the cropping uh, fields, but others have got a you know, long span, around 11 years for Nicandra physaloids, and the same indica 12 years, and it means it can this can uh, cause probably weed to remain within the field for a long time. On the other hand, it appears as if we can exhaust these weeds. But as long as there is flowering and seed addition, uh, it becomes, you know, a perpetuation of these uh, weed species uh, within the field. So, some weed seeds can last for a long time. Same information, uh, this was actually taken from data from Anderson Research Station. Uh, there were other weeds which could go beyond uh, 12 years. This is a situation where we have uh, seeds uh, being uh, in environments where there's no disturbance like CA, then varied disturbance uh, shown by CT, done at various, uh, I mean disturbance being done at various uh, levels. Probably you can see that uh, if we look for Rodborea cocaine kinensis, the study started uh, beginning in 1966 up to 1970. And if you go into conservation agriculture, you find that uh, there are high numbers under zero uh, cultivation, but there are also num high numbers under monthly cultivation which were emerging, number of seeds which were emerging. But we can say that uh, during this period, just to confirm how long these weeds last within the soil. Rodborea four years. Acanthospermum eight years. Erosini indica. Uh, twelve years. Datura twelve years. Nicandra it was a. Uh, 17 years. 
starting from 1966 up to 1983, the seeds were still uh, emerging. So some of the seeds can last for a very long time within the soil. I won't talk much about this uh, uh, CA and the CT, except that uh, under some weeds under CA, they are very few. But under CA, under disturbance, you get a lot of uh, weed seeds, uh, weed seeding uh, emergence. Now, with reduced tillage and conventional tillage, sometimes you get a, a positive effect under reduced tillage. You get a lot of weeds coming in and in the conventional tillage uh, less weeds but you know with the time this may change uh, with other situations nothing really happens we want to talk about weed seedling emergence and establishment that when domains ends the germination process can start you have a growth of root and shoot then you can have a photosynthesis and the independent uh, growth that's what happens with weeds uh, what we call epic germination is common this is the protrusion of cotyledons above the soil surface then upon emergence, cotyledons become uh, photosynthetic. This is what we see when the weed seedling is emerged uh, from the soil after breaking uh, seed domains. So this is what you see soon probably after the rains, you see the cotyledons. So these are the cotyledons of uh, Biden's pylosa, these elongated uh, cotyledons. I put the plebeia with the V-shaped cotyledons, which will photosynthesize after emergence. Epigermination, we see the cotyledons above the soil surface. Again, we discuss a uh, musei, circle shape the cotyledons. Now, they are what we call safe sites, but they may not be safe in terms of uh, weed control. Conditions for germination, for germination and survival are found on safe sites for the weeds. Safe sites provide the stimuli to break dormancy and initiate germination. If you look at a field, you may find that weeds are emerging in certain spots, but other areas you don't see weeds. It is those areas where you see weeds emerging which, are, which we are referring to as the safe sites. Uh, you find the water and oxygen which are consumed in the course of uh, germination on the safe sites, as far as weeds are concerned. And the weeds after germination follow a characteristic germination and emergence pattern depending on the weed species. Now after the rains have fallen, in a summer season, you find that uh, there is a, a batch of weeds which can emerge. If you try to follow individual weed species, 
you can detect peak emergence and also emergence which is you know low so there are peaks and lows uh, if you try to follow the the germination uh, we we tried to follow the germination of uh, several weeds in this country where we take colleague number to so there's a what we call the periodicity of weed seeding emergence and the effects of weeding frequency in maize and sorghum. This is, uh, we are studying this in, 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 a, in two crops. What we found was that uh, probably we just use one graph so that uh, we don't uh, load you with too much unnecessary information. At the beginning of the season, you have a lot of weeds emerging. As time, as the season prog progresses, even if it is under wet condition, the germination pattern tends to decrease. So if you want to control your weeds, if you can come in here, it means during the rest of the season, uh, there are less problems. So if we know the characteristics of the emergence pattern of these weeds, we can uh, do uh, uh, weed control measures at appropriate times. So these are the patterns. So with some weeds, uh, suddenly during the period you get uh, this peak. So if we can understand how these weeds you know, emerge, uh, we can know how to control them. We call this the periodicity of weed seedling emergence, uh, which is a characteristic of uh, weed domains. This is another pattern where at the start there's a lot of germination, but as you progress, uh, the germination is lessened. Again, again you may have other germination pattern, uh, which for the first uh, eight weeks or six weeks could be very high. Let us look at the growth, the growth and the resource capture of weeds. Still we are talking about uh, the characteristics of weeds, but we are just expanding uh, on these uh, characteristics. Success of weeds, rapid establishment, rapid canopy development, rapid growth, uh, rapid root growth growth rate reflects competitive ability of weeds so that's why weeds are highly competitive annual plants have high relative growth rates RGR for example Kenopodium album has got 2.12 gram per gram per week Weeds possess high maximum potential, relative high growth rates, plant size and leaf area. Uh, we can use this to predict competitiveness uh, in mixtures of weeds. So on this slide, what is important is just to emphasize that uh, weeds grow rapidly. Photosynthetic pathways, we have got uh, three major pathways, the C3 carving cycle, C4 
dicarboxylic acid cycle become uh, or the crassulacin acid metabolism uh, plants. Probably I just want to give an overview of these three categories. The C3 are not very efficient in utilizing carbon dioxide. During times of stress, uh, these plants which we call C3 will end up losing a lot of uh, they may want to use carbon dioxide but they will close the stomata in order to conserve water because they are closing the stomata they run uh, out of carbon dioxide which is an important resource for photosynthesis whereas the adaptation in C4 and the CAM plants they will have enough of uh, carbon dioxide and they can perpetuate the production of uh, carbohydrates and as a result they are better adapted and uh, please note that C4 and the CAM plants could be uh, weeds and this allows them to be highly competitive because they can efficiently produce carbohydrates which are needed for growth and this can actually facilitate uh, competition so they are highly competitive and the message here is simply to say that uh, most weeds are within the C3 sorry the C4 and some of them are the CAM plants for example Pochulaca oriracea uh, 30 is a CAM plant which means that uh, it can efficiently uh, produce carbohydrates so I will leave out some of the nitty gritty uh, which may not be necessary so as far as photosynthetic pathways we just want to know that the C4 the CAM which are weeds are efficient in utilizing carbon dioxide under you know different environments and therefore they are very uh, com competitive <coughs> again here we have got many highly competitive uh, weeds which are C4 plants Amaranthus retroflexus C4 Kenopodia marubam which is the C3 Water uptake. Many weeds have uh, rapid root elongation and extensive root system. So root system development can aid the competitive ability. Water use efficiency, that is the amount of carbon dioxide fixed or dry matter produced per unit of water lost in transpiration. This is what is called uh, water use efficiency. The highest water use efficiency are also found in uh, C4 plants, which could be weeds. Uh, C4 plants are more productive than C3 plants when water is limiting. This means that uh, the weeds will prevail yeah under limited uh, soil moisture but high water use efficiency may not always be you know, may not mean may not always point to you know, a, it may not always point to a competition which is uh, high sometimes you get something different. 
plasticity in environmental responses. Agricultural environment is a disturbed environment. Uh, changes okay and predictably uh, with tolerant variable conditions they grow and reproduce successfully uh, in these environments. Tolerance to environment uh, to environmental variation is what we are referring to as uh, plasticity. The other trait is mimicry. You know, there are some organisms which are similar to the other. The similarity is what we call mimicry. Resemblance of two or more organisms, like in crops, we do have uh, weeds which look like uh, crops. Examples are chamber grass, Rodbolia coquin kinensis, which looks like maize, wild oat, avina fatua, which looks like wheat, rapoco grass, elucine indica, which looks like finger millet, stock rose, hibiscus musei, which looks like cotton, barnyard grass, Icuno floa crascalis, uh, which looks like uh, rice. So, if you are doing mechanical weeding, you may end up actually removing your crop or leaving in the weeds. So, this is an adaptation to mechanical weed control. Chamber grass. It imagines it looks like a maze. Actually, this looks like one of the uh, hybrids which is currently on sale. When it emerges, it just looks like this weed. After a while, uh, you realize you have got maize. Avina uh, which is uh, a weed which looks like wheat. Hibiscus you say it looks like a uh, cotton, especially it images with those uh, round uh, cotyledons. So this is it on the characteristics of uh, weeds. I will stop here. So two minutes to twelve. Uh, we should end here. Any any questions? So you now have your notes, you can use uh, teaching videos, these recordings I will also post them to you so that uh, you can uh, use them. If you know the characteristics of weeds which we can use to set them apart from other plants. You know, I have got this question right at the beginning. If you know that question, if you can address it when you are doing your assignment, it means probably you will be able to know these characteristics of uh, weeds. Probably this could be an interest to breeders because they focus more on traits of plants during mm -hmm. their breeding. So focus on the characteristics. After that, try to write that assignment by Tuesday next week. Uh, I 
expect you to be giving me the assignment. I will post my email address. Right? Okay. I will finish with you on Tuesday next week. We may meet during the weekend, but we may, we may not. Because probably you will be attending to other issues. Yes. Yeah, you also read those notes. Motra vita ma assignments mugango daro chete munu nyato pasa shaka naka zina stress adi indisho mm. yes dog e ndoma typical questions amuntu amuntu practice e ndoma assignments ach Saka, if you do all the assignments, you are safe. But I want to point out, I think the second assignment, the two questions that are not fun and they are not fun, right? Magadol. Yes, Tagadzo, not work. Musaiti, they said, they did it too. If you just do one of them, leave the other one because it's the same question. Because it's one question. Okay, thank you, Doc. Yeah, yeah, you duplicated, but in a different way. Saka, so, uh, answer a little part, go answer one which you want there. Then try my money. By the end of this module, I will give you five questions on it. Yes, you know, I will data choice. Because the parent is in three parts. With science, endomology, and pathology. And each section is in three questions. You should answer from each uh, of those three questions. It's comparison, but you need to answer five questions, which means you can take three from one of the sections, or one, one from the other, depending on the I say when you finish the whole module. I need this one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, I'm going to characteristics. You are already somewhere. I'm going to assign me the actual. Then you will see how it goes. Because you are breeders and agronomists, Maybe the type of uh, approach may be different. Could ever be specialized at my weed chai chai. Right? So, yeah, it, 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 I am sure I'm going to say you, you will be, you will be fine. And if we interact a lot, you also, you are also going to be fine. My weeds, my weeds, and it. Yes, sir. I should have passed up to which undergraduates can I want to post the graduate as well. Which weeds which are changing? And I don't go to food. I don't go to the weeds. But probably my approach is in the other So I'm preparing you three sections. 
you will answer five, but answer at least one from each of those sexes. So, can I tap the module? Yeah, coursework, those and those questions, they will constitute 50% of your mark, your final mark. The other 50% comes from the uh, exam. Any questions on that? <coughs> I have got a lot of questions for you. Go ahead and ask. Okay, Sagatono, Tosagata Manguana and Litiga. Yeah, I think it's okay. Nine, it will be now from nine to twelve. And we cover other issues. Okay, Doc. Yeah. It's okay, Doc. Thank you. All right. But it's still on. But it's still on the same platform, man. Yeah, okay. on the same platform. Oh, it's all right. Okay. It's yeah. also voluntary. Manuda, we have no other platform. Manuda, we go there and come out. Manuda, go there and come out. Thank you, Doc. <laughs> it's okay. If you go now, which is suitable for your circumstances. So I, I shall send you the video. Do you believe that you are doing something that is?